Hey, Roberto. How's it going? Mwah. Well, life's definitely not boring. My little niece, Rita, is visiting from Los Angeles. Oh. She's sleeping right now, but wow, busy, busy, busy. How nice. How old is she? She's 12. She's my sister Luisa's daughter. Oh, hey, what's that? It's Rita's picture of our family. Oh, it's beautiful. And wow, how many people are there in your family? A lot. I have a really big family. Yeah, you do. Who's that? This is my mother, Raquel. And this is my father, Silvio. Mm. And this is my sister, Luisa, Rita's mom, and her husband, Rico. Hmm. Okay, and these two, what are their names? That's Marco, my older brother, and this is Tomas, his son. He's a single parent. And who are they? They're my cousins, Emilio and Olivia. They look pretty cool. How old are they? Let's see, Emilio is 23 and Olivia is 26. And these people are some of my aunts and uncles. My mom has three brothers and my father has two sisters and a brother. And then there are their wives and husbands and <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, you must be Rita. Nice to meet you. I'm Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Nice to meet you, too. This is a beautiful drawing, Rita. Which one is you? This is me. Oh. Say, where is Roberto? Oh, is this him? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's Grandpa Martinez. Oh, Grandpa? <laughs> How old is he? I don't know, but he's really old, just like Uncle Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mike. Shh. I'm watching my favorite show. Mike, you really need to get a job. A job? I'm too busy for a job. Busy? You don't work, you don't go to school. What do you do all day? A lot of things. Like what? Well, in the morning, I work out at the gym. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, I relax. But Mike, that, that's not work. Well, okay. Uh, what day is it today? It's Tuesday. Okay. Well, I'm relaxing today because I have a busy schedule tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. At 9 o'clock, I have my yoga class. And then at noon, I have <laughs> lunch. Don't laugh. It's an important meal. And then at 4.45, I have my film class. Mike, that's not a class. You go to the movies on Wednesday afternoons. Go to the movies, go to film class, same thing. Anyway, on Wednesday nights, I spend time with Maria. Maria? Who, who's Maria? She's a friend. What kind of friend? You know. A friend a friend? Like a girlfriend? Where does she live? She lives here in New York. What does she do? She's an actress. Yeah. She's really great. She's an actress. She's a singer. She works out. She's beautiful. She's really successful. Wow. She sounds terrific. When can I meet her? Actually, right now. Here she is. She's on Wednesdays at 7.30 at night, but on Tuesdays, she's on Channel 4 in the afternoon. You're girlfriend is on television? Well, she's not really my girlfriend, but I watch her all the time on TV. Isn't she beautiful? So, how did you two become roommates? Us? <laughs> well, uh, Tara and I were old friends, so when I moved to New York... <laughs> Tara. Mike! <laughs> Welcome to New York. You'll love it here. It's great. Maybe. Just remember, Tara. No apartment, no job. Goodbye, New York. Got it? Don't worry. My friend Takashi needs a roommate. I'm calling him right now. Hi, Takashi. My friend Mike is in town. 
He's interested in the apartment. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's on the third floor. There are four rooms. There are two bedrooms. There's a big kitchen and a great living room. Is there a bed in the extra bedroom? Is there a bed for Mike? Yes. The bedroom is furnished. There is a bed, a table, a lamp, a desk, and uh, there are two chairs. Sounds terrific. Let's go. <laughs> See you soon. Hi. Hi, Takeshi. This is my friend Mike. Hey, Mike. Hi. Come in, you two. Wow. This is a nice apartment. Thanks. This is the living room. There's a sofa, a lamp, table, TV. Nice. Over there's the kitchen. We have a table. There are a couple chairs, a microwave, a fridge. And here's the bedroom. There's a bed, a table, a lamp, a desk, and there are two chairs for you. I'll take it. Um, how much is the rent? It's cheap. It's only $800. $800? That's kind of expensive for me. I don't have a job yet. Believe me, for New York, that's cheap. Okay, I'll take it but just for one or two months. Okay, welcome home. So that's the story. Yep, and two years later, we're still roommates. One or two months, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dear mom and dad, life in New York is great. My apartment is beautiful and the city is so cool. I'm studying every day and art school is really interesting. My favorite class is art history. I'm working at a cafe too. It's not bad, but I'm really busy. I usually work nights, but I get up early every day about seven o'clock. Well, maybe 7.30. I get dressed and then I always have a healthy breakfast. Well, usually. After breakfast, I always check my email and I often surf the net, but only for about an hour. Well, sometimes longer. After that, I often meet my roommates, Sun Hee and Claudia, for lunch. Sun Hee is from Korea. She's really nice and smart. She teaches computer science at New York University. And then there's Claudia. She's so much fun. She's from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. She's a businesswoman here in New York, so she's really busy. She works from 9 to 6 or 7 every day. Anyway, after lunch, I always study. Well, sometimes I relax a little. I work nights during the week from 5 to 11, so I go to work at 4.30. I'm never late. Okay, well, hardly ever. Then I get home at about 11.30. Sometimes I do some homework, but not often. I usually just go to bed. Well, not always to bed, but ah, uh, don't ask. Give my love to everyone. All the best, Tara. Okay, game time. Let's play Where Is It? This is my favorite game. Okay, but it is so crowded and this game is so boring. No, it isn't. It's interesting. And cheap. Here we go. What country is it? It's big. It's really interesting. Beijing is a famous city there. That's easy. China. Correct. Your turn. 
Okay, what city is it? It's in South America. It's a beautiful city. And my favorite person is from there. Oh. Shh. Who's your favorite person, Roberto? Ooh, where are you from? Um, are, you, are you from Sao Paulo, Brasilia? I know, you're from Rio. Yes! I'm from Rio de Janeiro. It's Rio. <laughs> you are correct. Mm -hmm. Yay! My turn. What city is it? It's expensive and cheap. It's noisy and quiet. It's modern, but some places are old. What? What? Hmm? Okay, it's in the U.S. It's crowded. People from all over the world live there. Mexicans, Koreans, Brazilians, Japanese. <gasps> I know! It's right here. It's New York City. You're correct. <laughs> Yay, my turn! Mm -mm. Wait a minute. This game is so boring. No, it's not. It's exciting. It's fun. Come on, Mike. Come on! <laughs> Hello. Hi, Tara, it's me. I'm calling you on my new cell phone. Look, here I am. Cool. What are you doing? I'm studying. I'm taking an art history class this semester and I'm not doing so well. What are you studying? Look. Hey, that's the Mona Lisa. I love that painting. Me too. So, uh, what are you doing? Talking on the phone. I'm shopping right now. And I have a date with Roberto for dinner at his house later. He's taking an Italian cooking class. Oh, I just love Italian food. That's cool. Well, have fun. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Taxi! Hello. Hi, Tara, it's Claudia. What are you doing? Are you studying? No, I'm not studying. I'm exercising now. Oh, I'm waiting for Roberto. Hey, here he is now. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Harrison Ford. Actors have great names. I'm an actor. My name's Mike Johnson. What's a great name? I don't know, but I want a great name. Okay, Mr. Movie Star, what's your name? They call me Bond. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Nice to meet you. And my name's Jennifer Lopez. Huh? <laughs> but you can call me J-Lo. Okay, J-Lo. Nice to meet you. You're my favorite actress and singer. So, um, what's your phone number? Excuse me, my phone number? Uh-uh. Mike! Takeshi! Are you Jim Carrey? No. I'm Jackie Chan. Oh, no, you're not. Thanks, Mrs. Hamilton. You're welcome, Claudia. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon, everyone. This is news reporter Katie Couric, and here we have the famous soccer player, David Beckham. Hi, David. Hi, Katie, but please call me Dave. And call me Julia Roberts. Claudia? Claudia? Oh, come on, you three. We're late for the movie. After you, J-Lo. After you, Dave. Okay. So, you push here, okay? No problem. Okay, Mike. I know, I know. I understand, Takeshi. Well, okay. Here's the videotape. Hi, 
Tara. Hi, hey. Claudia. Hi, guys. Hi, Ooh. you two. Hey. Hi. So what are we doing today? We're making a video about food and eating habits <gasps> for my film class. Great. I love food. Me too. Now, Mike, is the camera working? Yep, everything's set. The light's on. Sounds good. Let's start. So tell me, what do you have for breakfast? For breakfast, I have um, fruit, yogurt, and orange juice. Hmm, that's pretty healthy. Do you have any coffee or tea? Nope, I don't drink coffee. I don't like the caffeine. And no tea either. <laughs> I really don't like the taste. Hmm, I see. Now, how about you, Tara? Do you have a healthy breakfast too? Ha! She is not healthy. She has a really big English breakfast every day. Not every day. <laughs> well, what's an English breakfast? Well, it has eggs, bacon, sausage, tomatoes, mushrooms, beans, toast. Wow, that is a big breakfast. Mm. Uh, how about lunch and dinner? For lunch, I usually have a salad. <laughs> and I work at a restaurant, so I have dinner there, perhaps chicken or steak. That sounds good. How about you, Claudia? Do you like steak? Uh, no, I don't eat steak. I'm a vegetarian. Wow, you are healthy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, right. What about all that junk food you eat? I don't eat junk yes, food. You do you eat chips, chocolate, <gasps> ice cream? Well, I get hungry. Okay, okay, don't worry. We're finished. That was great. How's the recording going? Good. Uh, Mike, what's that? What that? It's a videotape. <laughs> Cut. I love parades. Me too. The Puerto Rican Day Parade is my favorite. This is my first time. Is it in June every year? Yeah. Why? Some holidays change, like Lunar New Year. When's that? Sometimes it's in January, but I think this year it's on February 2nd. Hmm. New Year's in February. Interesting. Hmm. So what do they do at the Puerto Rican Day Parade? People sing, they dance, they wear special costumes, uh, they play lots of cool music, and the food is delicious. Great! I'm hungry! <laughs> How long does the parade last? Well... The parade is from 12 to about 3. So it lasts about 3 hours. But the celebration lasts until about 7 or 8 o'clock at night. It's really fun! Come on, the parade starts in 15 minutes. Let's get moving. Where's the music? And the food. Roberto, where's the parade? I know it's today. It's on the second Sunday in June. Let's ask. Excuse me. We're looking for the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Puerto Rican Day Parade? That's next Sunday. It's on the second Sunday in June. Yeah, but today is... June 6th. The first Sunday in June. Oh. So no dancing. No cool music. And no delicious food. Oh. I'm really hungry now. Let's see. Nice suit. Thanks. Hey, don't forget about Roberto's party tonight. Oh, yeah. What kind of party is it? It's a party for work. All the people from his office are coming. See you there. But what do I wear? Gee, a work party. Roberto's an important businessman. Sounds pretty formal. Wow, look at that dress. And these shoes. Hi. May I help you? Um, that's a beautiful dress outside. Oh, which one? The dark one? How much is it? It's on sale. It's usually $285.
$285. That's pretty expensive. Yes, but it is on sale. It's only $225, and it is a beautiful dress. $225, that's not a bad price, and it is nice. And those black shoes, how much are they? They're usually $125. $125 for shoes? But they're on sale for $75. Wow, $75? That's $50 off. I'll take them. Great. And the dress too. Excellent. Hi, Sun He. You look great. Thanks. So, this isn't a formal party? Hey, don't worry about it. They're just friends from work. Besides, Mike dressed up. Look! <laughs> Come on in. I can't do this. Yes, you can. No, I can't. It's just a job interview. Yes, but I really want this job. What time is the interview? It's today at 3 o'clock. Don't worry. I have some time before my appointment. I can help you. What are you doing? I'm interviewing you. I'm a businessman. Trust me. I know this. Sit down. <clears throat> Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Do you have your resume? Yes. Here you are, Mr. Chavez. How am I doing? You're doing fine. Just relax. Very interesting. Let's see. An actor, a waiter, a painter, a singer, a receptionist. Wow, that's a lot of jobs. So, are you looking for a full-time or a part-time job? Full-time or part-time. I'm flexible. I see. What do you do now? Well, I don't have a job right now. No, no, no. Don't say that. Say, I'm between jobs. Now. Okay. I'm between jobs. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Tell me about yourself. What do you like? Well, I'm smart and creative. That's good. That's good. Sell yourself. Tell them about your good points. Okay, and I'm funny and outgoing. Definitely not shy. That's great. Okay. <clears throat> What languages do you speak? I speak Spanish, but I can't write it very well. Okay. What else can you do? I can use PCs and Macs. That's great. G get excited. And I'm very hardworking. And I know I can get this job. That's right. Now go get them. Oh. Huh? Hey, by the way, what kind of job interview is this? It's a job for a lifeguard down at the city pool. A lifeguard? Can you swim? No, I can't. But I look good in a bathing suit. Now, first, buy and sell. Um, buy, for example, if you want to have something, you have to pay the money to get it. Buy. And sell, sell the opposite. You know, if you, um, for example, I sell something, that means you have to give me the money and then you can take it. Sell. Buy, sell. Don't pronounce sell. Okay, not sell. Sell. Eh, oh, sell. Sell. Buy, sell. For number two, friendly, unfriendly. If you are friendly, that means you are kind and you are pleasant to somebody. Friendly, friendly. Uh, unfriendly, the opposite. Um, unfriendly, that means you are not kind. You are not pleasant to somebody. Friendly, unfriendly. For number three, young and old. Um, now, young usually, um, you know, the babies, the children, they are just some months old or some years old. They are young. For old, uh, you know, just like your grandpa, your grandma, they are 60, 70 or more. They are old. Young, old. Don't say owned. Okay, not own. Uh, ooh. old, 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 old. Young, old. Don't say young. Okay, young, 
young old. Number four, deep and shallow. Deep and shallow are used to talk about、um, the, the distance between the the top or the surface and the bottom, usually of the river, the lake, the swimming pool, or or maybe the sea. Ah,、uh, deep. You know, deep, very big. Or large or long distance between the top and the bottom, and shallow is the opposite. Very shallow, you know, small or short distance. Number five, thin and thick.、Um, thin and thick are usually used for boobs, hair, or maybe your body shape.、Um, usually, just for thin only. Not not thick is not for the body shape.、Um, now. Ah,、uh, thin. Ah,、uh, for example, if I'm talking about books, thin books with only some pages, you know, thin and thick. Thick books like this are, are、um, okay. They usually have a lot of pages, thousands, thousands of or hundreds of pages. So thin books and thick books like this. What's your favorite? Free time activity. What's your favorite free time activity? I like playing badminton. I like playing badminton. Do you like table tennis? Do you like table tennis? Do you like table tennis? Not really. Not really. I hate it. You can match them together. Hate it. Okay. Not unstressed T. Okay. Weak D. D D. Hate it. Not really. I hate it. Again. What's your favorite free time activity? I like playing badminton. Do you like table tennis? Not really. I hate it. Now again quicker. What's your favorite free time activity? I like playing badminton. Do you like table tennis? Not really. I hate it. Did you? If you see D, the first word end with D, and the second word、uh, begins with a Y, you know, so you can match them together and pronounce them as the J. You know the word job. Do you know the word job? Okay, this is j. Okay, exactly the same. Did you, did you have the? Okay, remember,、uh, this is the v. The consonant and the vowels together, and we link them together. Did you have the good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. What did did you the same? What did you do? What did you do? Well, I visited. Okay, consonant and then vowels together. Visited a. I visited a friend. I visited a friend on Saturday, and enjoyed a birthday party. This is R, okay. Party on Sunday. Well, I visited a friend on Saturday. Enjoy, enjoy the birthday party on Sunday. Well, I visited a friend on Saturday. Enjoy the birthday party on Sunday. Now again, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, it was great. What did you do? Well, I visited a friend on Saturday, and joined a birthday party on Sunday.